morning everybody welcome back to our channel today is wednesday needs to tuesday wednesday the 28th of february 2024 it is just gone 7 a.m jess and i are up we feel quite bad actually we feel awful don't we do you feel, i feel like i've been around five rounds with mike tyson i've got a sore throat my heels are sore my legs are sore and tight but, we so much fun. but we had so much fun yesterday we're going to go down for breakfast now um not entirely sure what they've got on offer but i'm hoping it's going to be something tasty and i'll film whatever i can if it's too busy and i can't get in there and i'm just getting in the way then we'll have to work around it but hopefully we'll be one of the pe first people down there and it should be a clear run around the buffet i think it's a buffet we're going to go downstairs now and check it out so we'll see you down there something in the air always something pieces of bread with a bit of cheese and butter I've got eggs, sausages and bacon and a brew 
Cheers. 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 Sunday. And we move tables as well. Yeah, so we've got a nicer view. Apologies for the poor lighting. I am standing right next to those four yellow bulbs. But funky bulbs. Funky bulbs, yeah. So as you can see, we're back up from breakfast. Breakfast was delicious. Not what I expected. So every time we've been to France previously. It's always been a continental breakfast, pastries, cereals, breads, baguettes, ham, cheeses and stuff like that and fruits. Which they had all of that, but they also had like a hot section, like American English uh, section. So they had uh, scrambled eggs, sausages, bacon. Bacon was lovely. Uh, it wasn't like the normal foreign bacon you get. It was really nice. Back bacon, really nice. And they also had French toast, which was delicious. The highlight for me was probably the French toast. That was champagne. really... Yours was the champagne. Yeah, they also had champagne there as well. Um, I didn't like the orange juice because it's got bits in and I just can't be drinking anything with bits in. They also had assortment of teas. I didn't see any coffee. Uh, I don't know if I wasn't looking hard enough or you might have to request that, but I did not see any coffee. Loads of loose teas. Uh, so I went for the English breakfast one, loose, it was loose tea, and they had your own little like bags for it. But the tea, I've not had a decent cup of tea here since we've been here, and I know it's only been, we've only been here for say, what, 30, 35 hours or something like that, but I've not had a decent brew yet, it's all had a funny taste to it. But the tea here, especially English breakfast, was delicious. Um, really nice layout, loads of tables, staff were friendly, the stuff was being replenished probably every 15, 20 minutes. Uh, it wasn't too busy down there, now I'm not sure if that's because the hotel's not full or we went down too early or what, but it got busier as the morning progressed. But it's about 10 past 8 now Jess, isn't it? Something like that? Yeah, they did have outside this vintage sort of looking truck and that was an espresso machine. Oh right, yep, yeah, I didn't so see that. every single cup of coffee latte americano espresso you could imagine yeah there's like a blue teal truck yeah. and it's built into the wall oh uh, right and the back See. of it was an actual massive espresso I've, machine i did find it weird why the french didn't have a coffee machine yeah, that's did. why that's why that's why I brought, whole homage yeah. to it. It was huge. that's why i brought it up for i thought french and no coffee it was only a bit strange but because because this was sort of an african themed restaurant i thought maybe that's why they didn't have coffee but you saw that sorry i did not get that on camera i didn't know it or anything uh, oh just got it on the instagram so i'm sure she'll and on youtube oh so you got it for youtube as i left oh even better okay <laughs> just got that so yeah so just had her breakfast then she done some filming extra filming that i didn't know then she went down to reception and asked is it okay if we have an extra hour we could get up and leave now because it's only about 10 past eight but i'm still tired um we didn't get too much sleep. We had a good sleep last night. We had a good three or four hours. Definitely a good solid four hours, maybe. Uh, but I'm still tired. Now, we could leave and go out now, but we'll be flagging by three, four in the evening, afternoon again, and we don't want to be doing that. So, just went down to reception whilst I was still having breakfast and asked for an extra hour. They said, yeah, no problem, free of, char uh, free of charge. So, we were willing to pay up to, say, what, 20 euros for it, because we desperately needed it, but they said, no, all complimentary, no problem. So just came up, got ready, went back into bed. I finished my breakfast, and I had another sneaky breakfast after that. And, <laughs> and then I had an extra brew, and then I just turned the camera around. I came and brought two pastries up to the room so we can have them later on. But as I said, it is now roughly, I think, about 10 past eight. I'm not 100% sure, but it's around about that time. I left breakfast at eight, so what are we looking at? 8.30. It's 8.30, it's even later than I thought. So we're going to go back to bed for a couple of hours, because we need it. Uh, and then when we wake up, we'll get sorted, check out, leave our bags downstairs. And then we've got a good eight hours in Paris to peruse that. To explore the city. To explore the city. So we'll see you later, folks. Bye, beautiful, exquisite, lovely room. Luxury bed. Luxury bed as well. You've served us absolutely brilliant, and we'll be sad to see you. But hopefully we'll be back at some point. Bye room. Thank you. And for anyone that was interested, we were staying in 443 on level four. 
I don't want to leave this room, did you? I know. You had to, you'd have to reprise me out with a crowbar to get out. Put your sunnies on. Mm -hmm. You're expecting a bit of sun. No, no. Paris. Oh, you want to look cosmopolitan. Where are going to wear my Prada sunglasses? Mm -hmm. You want to look all cosmopolitan? Of course I do. Yeah. You can have your croissant in a minute. Well, no, your panda chocolate. Oh, for God's sake. Man, yeah. That cobbled all over my face. Should we buy a French stick each and put under our arms? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my hair's a bit wet, so... Oh. <laughs> the sun's out. That's a good start. <laughs> That's a good thing. The sun is out. You have got pastry face. Mm really bad so off camera food. those two um croissants that i got from breakfast we've just demolished in the lobby haven't we mm -hmm. and that's what you're talking about have i got a pastry around my chops no, I've done it now. oh good so we are off somewhere very special about a 30 minute train journey away so we're going to get the number four train that we got yesterday so we've got to go to garden Ord first yeah. which is across the road number garden four or. garden or and then another train so we've got to get on the metro yeah. line number four yep yeah few stops then another number somewhere else yeah. yeah we're doing a one hour boat journey on the sun with get your guide yeah so let's go the french feel gonna hate me <laughs> but it feels a lot warmer doesn't it already than it yeah. did yesterday and the sun is out <laughs> to what? We've got the latest train going back as it is. Yeah. <laughs> And we're heading towards a bag new again. Also, we've brought a Navigo pass, not just a single ticket. And this is up to zones one and two on the metro. So we are here, we've got to go one, two, to here, heading to Bagnu M4. It's your favourite where isn't it, Bagnu? Bagnu. is the Metro 9 point these serves and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stops. We need Alma Marcio. We've just exited the station Alma Marcio. Oh, sorry about my pronunciations, they're not the greatest. We've just exited the station, and on our right, you can see the Eiffel Tower. Now, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but just there, you will see two flames. Now, I do believe that is uh, Diana, Princess Diana's memorial. Uh, we might take a little walk over there because I think we're heading that direction anyway. So we might stop over there and just pay our respects and show you a lot. But yeah, it's beautiful here today. The sun's out, it's not as cold as it was yesterday. So I think we're going to head over there now and just show you and get a cracking few pictures of the Eiffel Tower. See, we're out of time. I guess no one should blame. 
nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see somehow we couldn't feel so we've walked along the bridge the station was over there that we came out of we walked over to the flame I needed to make sure it was the memorial for Princess Diana. It was, there's loads of flowers there. I don't film too much of it because I just wanted to pay my respects. Um, now the tunnel next to it, we are assuming, we're not 100% uh, sure, we're assuming it's where she passed away because just just Googled the tunnel and it was the point, the Alma tunnel or something like that. Now we came out of the station, uh, Alma Marcel. So we're assuming that it was this tunnel or this stretcher tunnel that sadly she had the crash. But also the statue is in tribute to uh, the uh, Statue of Liberty in New York because if you didn't know, France gave New York the Statue of Liberty as a gift, for a gift, but we're not entirely sure why. There might be a story behind it, I can't remember. We did learn all about this whilst we was in New York, but I can't remember now. There's also a little Statue of Liberty along here somewhere. We're not entirely sure. But yeah, I didn't film too much because obviously we wanted to pay our respects, but we are assuming that tunnel or that stretch of tunnel is where the fatal crash was. But we've walked along this bridge. Jess seems to think that this is the bridge where Emily in Paris was filmed or seen in Paris, Emily in Paris was filmed. Jess is there. And as you can see, we've got the Eiffel Tower in the background. So what's the plan now? We're looking for... We're going down here to yeah. get a boat from the next pier. Yeah, do you know the name of the... the... No, I need to get the directions. Right, okay. Point. So should we go? Yeah. We've made it to where we need to get the cruise from. Just, just been over there getting some Instagram pictures. So about 10 minutes ago, we was on that bridge. Now what we've done was continue over the bridge. We walked down the, here. Well, down here, sorry. And got some nice pictures of the Eiffel Tower. We then came down this ramp and this is where we'll be getting the cruise from. Now it, the company is called, is it Batu Parisians? Yeah. Yeah, Batu Parisians and it looks like they've got a couple of vessels here. Uh, one there, one there as well from dock six and seven. There is an information here Number three, we have to go. Oh, we need to go to number three. So they've got more than a couple of vessels, and it looks like this might be all Batu Parisian. So Jesse just found out that we need to go to dock three. We're currently at dock seven. So it's going to be down here somewhere. But yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a nice little trip on the. It's Jess, I don't want to get this wrong. Is it Sien? Sen. Sen, yeah, it is, yeah. So, yep, we're making our way down to dock three now and hopefully we'll be on board within the next few minutes and we can get some nice stunning pictures and videos of the landmarks and already we've got the Eiffel Tower just there. Now what we're gonna to plan to do is we're hoping that this does full circle but we're hoping it comes back here so we can get off and go to the Eiffel Tower. That's the plan anyway, but we'll let you know more when we do. You can download the audio guide as well you can pause your screen if you want to take a picture of that but we're really looking forward to this aren't we so this is our ticket we also have audio commentary yeah and we can come between any time between 10 and 10 30 p.m which is yeah. really nice and this is with get your guide so yeah. thank you so much for gifting us these tickets but we are going to go onto the platform and get onto our boat they uh, when we applied for this they gave us a voucher worth up to 30 pound didn't they, 30 yes. euros so we could choose anything on their website up to the value of 30 euros and this would have been was it 14 euros each yes. so we had money spare as well so we'll let you know our honest opinion when we get off yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. We always try and squeeze a cruise on somewhere, don't we? Yeah. 21 degrees and sunny Just the way I always wanted Told what I got, the upside
the bluebirds be supposed to sing along that I love you Oh, 그때야 난 바위 거리를 걸어요 Paris, Paris, yeah Oh, 난 그저 Chucky Eiffel Tower Shines from anywhere out on the wall When I'm not with you All these shiny seas don't mean a thing Nun tong jai bitchin Avenue de Champs-Elysées Kudai wa gachi So that was the Bayou Parisians river cruise. It lasted one hour. Uh, unfortunately, due to some flooding up the river, we couldn't do the full tour, but it was still an hour. They still went a bit further the other way, didn't it, if that makes sense. It was probably about an hour and five minutes. Now, we was kindly gifted these by Get Your Guide, but if you're interested in the prices, I do believe for an adult ticket, it's 18 euros, and for a child between four and 11, it's nine euros. Now, I'm not sure before four, it's probably gonna be free, and after 11, I'm not sure, there's no prices, don't quote me on this, but I'm assuming they charge you for an adult ticket after 11 years old. Um, but it's really good. There is uh, no cafe on board, but there are vending machines you can get um, coffee, hot chocolate, soup. There's no tea other than mint tea, which mm. I don't like mint tea. There were crisps and chocolate and other stuff on the vending machines, weren't there? But I really enjoyed <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I think it's good. Would I pay it again? I don't know, I mean, we obviously didn't pay for this, but now I know what is included, would I come back here and pay 18 quid to do it again? What was your thing, I think? I enjoyed looking at the scenery, yeah. but I felt it was just a bit too crowded. Yes, and that's people, what I was gonna say, yeah. People weren't very polite, they were allowing their kids to run ragged, yes. so kind of like ruin the experience. And because there's not many viewing areas at the front or the back, you don't really get much of a view yeah. of the main landmarks. Um, and I was hoping that if people have paid for it, unlike us, they could get a refund for the yeah. part of the journey that they've missed. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it was fun. I probably wouldn't do it again. No, um, it I'm was not a sure. fun experience. Yeah. Um, but we would rather be honest with you on yeah. the channel. I, they they do have an upstairs. Must say that there is an upstairs, and there is stairs to go on the viewing platform up top. But he said it in French about it, and I missed the English exp explanation. But I think it's it's due to being windy that they couldn't open the top sort of deck so it's just a lot of things yeah. that we couldn't experience for the ticket price yeah um which is completely fine with us as we didn't pay for it, it was kind of gifted but if we were a paying customer yeah i would be seeking a I, refund i don't think I, I personally don't think i'll be seeking a refund because i still got to see what i wanted to see but 
I think 18 euros is maybe a little bit steep. Yeah. But that's what we're here for. We're here to give an honest opinion. You mm -hmm. might love it. You might think 18 euros is fine. And obviously when you come, it might be a nice warmer day. The wind might be not that windy. I mean, I don't even think it's that windy I today. I don't think it's that windy but at all. I think we missed the, the English, English expression, um, translation of why we couldn't go on the top deck. But we caught the French translation, but we don't know what he said. We don't understand. So that's our problem. Yeah, that's our problem. But there was some reason why we couldn't go on top deck, wasn't there? But next stop is that beauty. Now we've done our research. Now we believe, what was it when we looked for the prices? I've got a feeling it was 18 euros. I could be wrong and I'm not sure how far we can go up. I, I do want to say, whilst we got on board, because Jess mentioned it was a bit cramped in there and there was kids running around, I smacked my knee on one of the seats that flipped down. I smacked my knee on one yeah. of the seats and all. So I, it hit me right, the only way I can explain it, it hit me right on the bone, like as if my funny bone was in my knee. It hit me right there. Is that why you've been limping? So yeah, so I can't, so I couldn't bend my leg, so I found it difficult to walk around the, the, the vessel and try and film. So I'd say about 80% of the footage was filmed by moi, wasn't it? Sorry. So hopefully, I've not seen any footage because I just sat down and sort of kept myself to myself because my knee was throbbing. But I'm sure whatever footage she's put up on the... The highlight was seeing the uh, miniature Statue of Liberty. That was yeah, that was nice. good. But as I was saying, I'm sure whatever footage she's put up, she's recorded it'd be perfect so wouldn't it <laughs> we'll see right next stop is we're going to go to the Eiffel Tower we're not sure if we're going to go up there yet we need to just check the prices um and if we can we'll go up there if we can't we might find a nice cafe and get a tea somewhere might we or maybe yep yeah, right next stop is the Eiffel Tower and voila we should be able to get up pretty quick everyone's getting chores from that oh yeah that'd be nice but I'd like to sit down and have a drink, wouldn't you? Or do you want some churros? It's so weird. We haven't been back here since it was, Yeah, it was January the 18th, 2013, when I got down on my knee and writ, Jessica, will you marry me? And I read it in the snow with a stick because the plan was to go up there and get on my knee and propose. But because I was too shy and didn't want to be a centre of attention, I kind of bottled it, didn't I? So Wayne's going to do a reenactment. <laughs> I, I kind of bottled it, but it was snowing at the time and the snow was quite thick. And I saw kids writing stuff in the snow. So I thought, brilliant idea. So I found the stick and tried to write it, but I didn't leave enough room. Yeah, so I had to write it about five or six times where I could fit it all in, didn't I? So oh, you yeah. got, I could show you. Just put your marry me in the snow like a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> right, should we go up there and then find a spot where we got engaged? We'll try to, yeah. 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 I don't think we have to be back at the hotel till like half seven. Well, our train is at 9.30 yeah. back to King's Cross. Or... And it's 90 minutes before. They... It's 9.12. 9.12. So they say we haven't got, they, they advise us to be there between 60 and 90 minutes. Yeah. So as long as we're there by about 8 o'clock, I think we're fine. Okay. So we've got till probably half past seven. Half to seven to get our bags and get across. So what time is it now? It's five. So we've got two, two and a half, half hours. hours. Well, it's half an hour to get back from here. Yeah. So we've got till seven. Seven. So yeah. Leave by seven. Yeah. Deal. <laughs> Doing it too fast. That's it. That's it. Oh. <laughs> Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do?